Have you ever considered the enduring power of art in the face of tragedy? Today we embark on an exploration of a narrative that deftly intertwines these elements. The Goldfinch, by Donna Tartt. This Pulitzer Prize-winning novel paints a detailed picture of a young man's tumultuous journey through loss and redemption, guided by the beacon of a captivating painting. At the heart of this tale is Carol Fabritius's painting, The Goldfinch. This piece of art, as exquisite as it is symbolic, becomes the tether to our protagonist Theo Decker's fractured existence. It becomes a talisman, connecting him to moments of joy and sorrow, painting a vivid picture of the power art wields. This novel is not just a story, it is a meditation on the impermanence of life, the quest for meaning amidst calamity, and above all the enduring impact of beauty and creativity. As we unravel the threads of this narrative, we will delve into the world of Theo Decker and explore the profound themes that make The Goldfinch a masterpiece of contemporary literature. Theo Decker, our protagonist, is a complex character whose life takes a dramatic turn due to a tragic event. He is but a young boy when his life is forever altered by a devastating terrorist attack at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. The loss of his beloved mother in this horrific event is the catalyst for his tumultuous journey through grief, resilience, and redemption. Theo's life as we know it is a series of highs and lows, of triumphs and defeats. From the bustling streets of New York City to the sun-drenched landscapes of Las Vegas, his journey is as varied as the places he traverses. His life is a testament to the human spirit and its ability to endure in the face of adversity. Following the loss of his mother, Theo finds himself adrift in a world that seems both foreign and hostile. He is thrust into a life of uncertainty, moving from the comforting familiarity of his home to the stark, sterile environment of his father's house in Las Vegas. It is here that he meets Boris, a charismatic and enigmatic figure who introduces Theo to the thrilling yet dangerous world of art forgery and crime. As Theo navigates this labyrinthine underworld, he is drawn deeper into a vortex of deception and intrigue. The painting that he stole from the museum in the aftermath of the terrorist attack, Carol Fabritius's The Goldfinch, becomes both his treasure and his curse, a poignant reminder of the life he once had and the life he now leads. Theo's journey is not just a physical one, but an emotional and psychological odyssey as well. He grapples with feelings of loneliness, guilt, and despair, struggling to make sense of his existence in a world that has been irrevocably altered. His relationships with the people he encounters along the way, from the refined Hobart and Pippa to the unpredictable Boris, add layers of complexity to his character. These relationships shape him, challenge him, and ultimately define him. Tart's narrative spans continents and decades, creating a sprawling epic that encompasses the highs and lows of Theo's life. This intricate tapestry of experiences, emotions, and encounters forms the essence of Theo Decker's life and journey. Art plays a significant role in The Goldfinch, serving as a lens through which we examine life's complexities. The novel showcases the power of art as a transformative force, a beacon of hope amidst the storm of life's trials and tribulations. At the epicenter of this exploration is the eponymous painting, The Goldfinch, by Carol Fabridius, which becomes a symbol of Theo's fragmented existence. Through this intricate artwork, we are invited into a dialogue about the impermanence of life and the relentless search for meaning. The painting becomes a talisman, a piece of the past that binds Theo to his mother and the happier times before the tragedy. It serves as his anchor in a world that constantly shifts beneath his feet. Donna Tartt masterfully uses art as a vehicle to convey the emotional subtleties of her characters. Through their interactions with art, we glimpse the deepest corners of their souls, their hopes, their fears, and their dreams. The art pieces in the novel are not merely objects, they are living, breathing entities that encapsulate the essence of the characters' experiences. Art in The Goldfinch also serves as a commentary on the transient nature of life. Just as art can be created and destroyed, so too can lives be shaped and shattered. The fleeting beauty of Fabricius's goldfinch, a creature forever trapped in a moment of time, echoes the ephemeral nature of human existence. Just as the painting survived a deadly explosion in the 17th century, so too does Theo cling to survival in the face of adversity. The influence of art extends beyond the canvas in the goldfinch. It seeps into the lives of the characters, shaping their paths and influencing their decisions. Tart uses art as a metaphor for life itself, beautiful, complex, and often painfully fleeting. Theo's relationships with a cast of memorable characters, each with their own unique relationship with art,
further amplify the novel's exploration of art's influence. From the refined Hobart and Pippa to the enigmatic Boris, each character's interaction with art contributes to the novel's emotional depth and thematic richness. Art, in The Goldfinch, is a language that communicates the unspeakable, a mirror reflecting life's undeniable complexities. The Goldfinch is rich with historical and artistic references that lend depth to the narrative. Donna Tartt masterfully weaves these elements into the fabric of the story, creating a mesmerizing tapestry that blends fiction with reality. Central to the narrative is the painting The Goldfinch by Carol Fabritius. This real 17th-century masterpiece serves as a powerful symbol throughout the novel. The tiny bird chained to its perch mirrors Theo's own experience of being tethered to his tragic past. It's through this artwork that Tart explores themes of beauty, loss, and the transformative power of art. Tart also incorporates other real-life artworks into the narrative. For instance, she references the haunting portraits of Dutch artist Hals, the vibrant landscapes of Monet, and the evocative scenes of Degas. These artworks not only provide a rich backdrop for the novel, but also serve as poignant metaphors for the novel's themes. Cultural touchstones, too, are integral to the narrative. Tart takes us on a journey through the bustling streets of New York, the opulence of Las Vegas, and the old-world charm of Amsterdam. These settings are not just geographical locations but significant stages in Theo's life, reflecting his emotional state and the progression of his journey. Moreover, Tart delves into the world of antiques and art forgery, adding an extra layer of intrigue to the narrative. She draws on historical events and figures, such as the infamous art forger Han van Meegeren, adding a sense of authenticity to the novel's exploration of the art underworld. Theo's fascination with the Victorian era, reflected in his love for Dickens, also provides historical context. It speaks to his longing for an era of stability and simplicity, a stark contrast to the chaotic reality of his life. In essence, these historical and artistic references act as a prism through which we view Theo's world. They provide a deeper understanding of his character and the themes Tart explores, such as the transformative power of art, the struggle for identity, and the enduring impact of trauma. These references not only enrich the narrative but also illuminate the themes that Tart explores. The Goldfinch has made a lasting impact on contemporary literature. Upon its release, the novel was met with a wave of critical acclaim, earning Donna Tartt the prestigious Pulitzer Prize for Fiction. It's been lauded for its intricate narrative, rich character development, and profound exploration of art, grief, and redemption. Critics have praised Tartt's masterful storytelling, her ability to weave together a complex tapestry of themes and motifs, and her vivid, evocative prose. The novel's sprawling narrative, which spans continents and decades, has been celebrated for its epic scope and ambitious structure. Yet it's not just the critics who have been taken in by The Goldfinch. Readers from around the world have found themselves enthralled by the story of Theo Decker. They've connected with his journey, shared in his triumphs and tragedies, and found meaning in his search for beauty and truth in the face of life's complexities. The Goldfinch has also left an indelible mark on the literary landscape. It sparked conversations about the role of art in our lives, the nature of grief and loss, and the ways in which we seek to find meaning and purpose. It's challenged readers to reflect on their own lives, their own experiences of beauty and pain, and their own quests for understanding and connection. The novel's impact extends beyond the page. It's been adapted into a major motion picture, bringing Theo's story to an even larger audience and further solidifying The Goldfinch as a significant work of contemporary literature. In the end, The Goldfinch is more than just a novel. It's a testament to the power of art, a meditation on the impermanence of life, and a journey through the vast landscapes of human emotion and experience. It's a book that has resonated deeply with readers and critics alike, earning its place in the literary canon. The Goldfinch is more than a novel. It is an exploration of the human condition, a testament to the enduring power of art, and a narrative journey that spans the vast landscapes of Theo Decker's life. As we conclude our exploration of The Goldfinch, we find ourselves immersed in a narrative masterpiece. We ventured through the tumultuous landscapes of Theo Decker's life, witnessing his transformation from a grief-stricken orphan to a young man entangled in a world of art and crime. We've marveled at the power of art, symbolized by Fabricius's The Goldfinch, a talisman connecting Theo to moments of joy and tragedy. This journey has allowed us to delve into the rich tapestry of Tart's narrative, which intertwines historical and artistic references to deepen our understanding of the novel's themes. 
We've reflected on the critical reception of The Goldfinch, its resonance with readers, and its lasting contribution to contemporary literature. In essence, The Goldfinch is not just a novel, it's a testament to the enduring power of art and an exploration of the human condition. Join me again as we dissect the layers of another literary masterpiece, where every page is a stroke on the canvas of a narrative journey.